Hey guys, so I'm here with Ducky. <laughs> and Ducky is the Billy Sculpt by Kathy Romero Viscitti. And you guys knew um, that is from Silicon Studio. Someone um, in the comment section, I think it was uh, San San, was asking like how to find uh, the other silicone because there's siliconestudio.com and then there's silicone studio the number two dot com. Um, just make sure you're saying silicone studio and not silicone studios <laughs> with s at the end. Sometimes, you know, sometimes your mind kind of want to change stuff up. So, yeah. Um, Oh my gosh, this baby has become such an important part of my day-to-day -day routine, right? Two bananas. Um, another one that I, this is another one of my cuddles that I just love. Look at her with those little tights. Oh my gosh, I got this outfit from Summer. Um, you guys, we call her Summer on Facebook, Summer Flores. So I got this <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I mean it's so stinky cute like those little tights I bet India could fit those tights but the pants the problem is the shorts is kind of baggy um but those tights are really tiny and they would fit they would f I know they would fit in because I had to really like stretch them on her look at her <laughs> but I'm gonna put her in some snuggly clothes for now um, I can't wait for her. The sculpt name is Billy. So, um, she's actually, Kathy is actually in the process of doing a full body of this baby. So we know what the face looked like. She showed like the feet and she's been working on the hands. Look like it's going to have nice hands and feet. So we will wait to see what it looked like all put together. It's always interesting to follow them like on Facebook because They'll share like their process and, you know, um, as they start to, you know, make the hands or the feet. And so we're all there like waiting and she'll ask for input sometime. And we're like, no, 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 don't do that. Or do this a little bit more here and a little bit more there. And oh my gosh, um, that's funny. Cause you know, sometimes you ask for input or you ask for suggestions and then it kind of, Sometimes it can get overwhelming. You're like, oh my God, so many different directions. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to follow what what works and, you know, um, but people can give you like, good input sometimes. So anyway, she finally got off her cloth diaper and I'll be honest with you, I miss it. <laughs> I, I actually want to put her back on her cloth diaper. This... Um, but, oh, I could put her back on her cloth diaper now that she has, um, she's going into, I had took it off because of some, something she was wearing and I didn't want it to be too bulky, but yeah, but my babies, you know, they have little, little tushes. You know, we, yeah, I have a little tush. But it's not. This pamper is like sagging. That's what, like it's like drooping. That's what I don't like about it. Let me pull it up. That's the part I don't like. See, yeah, this is why I call. I'd be like, "Oh, you little spider girl." But that's the nature of the cuddle body. But it's also the best part about the cuddle body is that it's so flexible and folds so flimsy like you can do anything you want as far as posing and so i won't change that part for the world i should have brought you an undershirt but we're gonna just go go with it so it's kind of when they have the the hands and the feet a lot of times we want to keep them um Covered up. Oh, someone else in the comment section, I don't remember the name, asked me what kit um, limbs that I use for her. 
Um, so her hands and her feet are from the Palmer Sculpt, also off of Silicone Studio 2 uh, site. I think they're like $75 to buy them separate. And if, if you have a baby that is compatible with them, I, I would say go for, go for it. Um, she It's the Palmer Sculpt by Debbie Downer, I think. Um, because I actually did the whole sculpt and I am going to do more of that sculpt with the hands and the feet um, because I have them here. But um, the Billy sculpt did not have hands or feet. It was just a cuddle head. And I just thought to myself, you know, I had just did a Palmer. So, of course, I was really loving the flow and the feel of that baby. So I was like, you know what? I want her to have hands and feet. So I asked Kathy, um, you know, did she think the, the size would work with it? And she told me, yeah, she, she thought it would be okay. And she was absolutely right because I think it works perfectly with him or with her. I <laughs> see y'all got me giving into y'all madness. Um, so if I want a baby, this is, this is so sounds so crazy, might sound crazy to some of you guys, but if I want a baby to look more relaxed and really sleep because open hands make me have anxiety. I like them, but it, when their hands are like flared, it kind of gives me they're in motion. They're doing something. I want her to be relaxed. So I'll pull the little hand mitts or I'll put separate hand mitts on. And now she looks so much more relaxed with her hair needs to be done. Um, let's see, we gotta, I'm gonna get over here on this side. It's not really out of place, but uh, I don't know how I can do it. Let's see, maybe I can scoot her down, turn her to me. I gotta hurry up because my battery is gone, Dad. Okay, we'll do that. And this is just water, guys. Strictly water. Um, if I want her hair to, if I really want her hair to like, really, like if she had curls or if I wanted it to just lock in an extra sheen and gloss, I could add a little fabric softener to my water and then um, just a little and then I spray it and it also makes them smell really good and so people when they pick them up they don't realize that it's the hair and they'll they always be like oh they smell so good it's, oh she smells like a baby too and that cracks me up because it's, it's the hair it's not the baby but I don't even use that like I used to um, I mostly like I said just use water and then if I want a baby smell on my silicone babies I spray their clothes or my new thing is what I do is I get those uh, beads those uh, fabric softener uh, what do they call it? infusion beads or something like that or whatever and I just um I take and I Put them in the drawers with their clothes and it soaks into their clothes and then it makes them smell so good their clothes and so every time you put them on an outfit it just smells good and they just just works really nice but being that since she has a cloth body you can put the wafers in her like you do the reborn so that's another thing with the, the cuddles um as far as having that baby smell because you know it's like we just want the whole thing we want the whole real feel you know they look real they might as well smell real <laughs> so that's you know that's that's my thing so um I didn't get this side as much I didn't want to cut her hair any shorter 
either. So her hair kind of in the back is a, have a little bit of length. But I don't like I don't like my baby babies to have like super long hair either. So so there are her ears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's also not really a passy baby. I don't, I haven't found a pacifier that I love on her or I just don't like to cover the lips. Oh, I gotta go, it's gonna die on me. See you later, bye.